สวัสดีครับ everyone and my boo hi welcome back to the channel size of sai happy new year welcome 2023 I hope you all had an amazing wonderful holidays with your friends and family I can't believe that the holiday season is over and now it's the Miss Universe season and I can't believe it but it's already the 71st edition of Miss Universe. For today's video, we are going to talk about our post-arrival favorites. Who were your top picks on the arrivals? They were all looking amazing. They were all looking so beautiful and they were all looking so phenomenal. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm based here in Bangkok, Thailand, and in this channel you'll see beautiful sights within the kingdom. But I am pageant fan, so you will see pageant talks like this. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and don't forget to hit the like button. Oh, ay yan. Sibulan na natin kung siyo yung post arrival favorites natin. Should I go first? I should go first. So we are going to share um, our five hot picks. Yung favorite talaga natin sa post arrival in no particular order or ito ba na kung gusto mo in no order. Um, after that, um, share din natin kung sino yung mga honorable mentions natin. Okay. Okay. So sino mag start? I should start. Okay, go. Because my personal favorite during the arrival and I just want to share with you something when I woke up about two days ago obviously the time difference between Thailand and the US it's because the moment that I opened my Instagram account talagang tumambat sa akin yung sobrang amazing na costume not really costume but outfit <laughs> Of course, our very own Miss Universe Philippines, Celeste Cortese. She was looking so incredible in that all red outfit. Love the, of course, the face, and of course that. That's why it's so nice. Yeah, so Celeste is also in my top five for sure because I always love Philippines. So I'm not expecting that arrival outfit actually. So I was thinking na siguro para easy breezy lang. But I was so shocked because it's so beautiful. The outfit niya. it's so like elite. When she left the <laughs> Philippines to the US, we all know that she was just wearing a very simple hoodie. Yeah, the white the hoodie. <laughs> so yeah, I would understand. But I think during this time, I think they prepared. They, yeah. they are well prepared. Yeah. And I think they would really love to have that pasapo. And I think we can feel the vibe of Jonas and Servi and the rest of the team, they're all looking so excited for our candidate, Philippines. Yeah, so Philippines is also in my list. So, sa mga sa akin top five favorites. I love it because parang from head to toe, maganda siya. And she's very shining. And takita mo naman sa mga video, di ba? Ang dami nagpapa picture. Grabe, pinagkakaguluhan. Interviews. <laughs> And kahit yung mga Latinos, they said that parang best in arrival shot. And I will just mention that so Sash Factor, she's number one. So. No doubt, I will also put Miss Universe Philippines on my number one. Yeah, pero meron pa rin mga bashers. Oh. Alam mo naman, di ba? <laughs> kahit, kahit nung hindi pa dumating si Celeste sa New Orleans, ang dami ng bashers. Like, um, pagito yung outfit niya, something like that, something like that. Pero we are proven wrong naman because uh, the, the, her team is prepared. Yeah, so we can see in her arrival outfit. So, manalig na lang. I will never read those bashers and whatever comments they put yeah, in Yeah, let's just enjoy <laughs> na lang, di ba? Of course. Okay. Right, so ako naman, um, I'll go for... Yeah, so Philippines, Philippines, so we have the same. Mm. Venezuela, do you have Venezuela? I do have Venezuela, but in the... Ah, so not in your top five, yeah. okay. <laughs> so Venezuela, Amanda Dudamel, she's in my list, uh, in top five favorites. Because, parang ano, uh, naalala ko siya when she was crowned Miss Venezuela. She's very, she's already a fighter na that time. Pero medyo raw lang. Mm -hmm. And whenever Venezuela sends a girl to Miss Universe, parang nag-iiba talaga ng aura, di ba? Alam mo yes. yun, your transformation niya. And she's very pretty. She's very she beautiful. Is. I no, love parang, her face. She's Super. really screaming na, I'm from Venezuela, so look at me, parang ganun. 
Venezuela is Venezuela as they say. Yeah. And and parang yung nakikita mo sa kanya na relax lang pero grabe yung fire inside and kahit wala sang siya uh, wala siyang sash alam mo talaga na she's Venezuela and nakita mo yung photoshoot niya sa Muba yes oh my god mm de ba ang ganda ganda ni Miss Venezuela that video somewhere yeah para nakaka fresh lang si Miss Venezuela i love her kahit wala siya sa top 5 mo I have a few other girls um, that I really like. Okay, sige, go. Nice. I shall proceed, no? Yeah. I do like Italy. I really I love like, Italy. Yeah. I really like Italy. I love the costume, love her bag. Yeah. I love that video. <laughs> it's really nice. Very simple, but very elegant. Yeah, the dusky beauty from Europe, mm. diba? Parang ibang atake naman ng Italy. And I was so amazed because they sent a very beautiful girl this time. Yes. And alam mo naman si Celeste is half Italian, so I'm wondering then before, sino ka ipapadala ng Italy? So ayan, so and kasing Josa din ni it Celeste. And it happened that Miss Italy and Philippines are roommates. Roommates, diba? ayan. It's so so bongga. Chichika sa ng Italian, ciao, sa so morning, <laughs> alright, diba? Ayaw mo ko, naalala ko si Andrea Tovar sa kanya. Alam mo, a little bit, yes. Yeah, a little bit, right? Yes. Tapos parang, she's very classy. Pero parang siya, yung parang mga mamahali na model. Mm, parang yes. ganun. So, yeah, uh, she's on my list as well. So, I really love Italy. Parang hindi siya gigil. Yes. Classy. Pero, my God, she's a fighter talaga. Mm. So, yan. Italy, Virginia Stamblum. Tayo dalawa. So, I'll go next. Ito. Medyo late si Bakla, <laughs> hindi ko naman, not really late, but she arrived on day two. So yes. USA, Arbony Gabriel. I also like her. I my have God, her. she's on my top five and I, I was waiting for her talaga because I know na Arbony is really prepared. Yes. Arbony is very busy with her outfits, wardrobe, and alam mo naman, with all the issues of Miss USA, parang she's, really, she's undisturbed. Um, ano nga tawag ng Kabea? Unbothered. Unbothered. Ayan. She, she's just doing her homework, doing her things among schools as Miss USA and preparing her stuff. And oh my God, kahit yung mga pictorial niya, dun sa, yun, ano yung van na may nakalagay ng yes. USA? Parang she's screaming. You know her as, as Filipina, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Filipina. But during her last photo shoots before she arrived in, in New Orleans, yung car na may USA flag, the way she holds her. Miss USA flag, but she really screams as Miss USA. She right, and I think that she must be the most hard-working candidate. I know that they all work really, really hard, but we can really tell that preparation, that parang siya kasi, no, parang hard work. And I heard that her national costume is pinagawa pa sa Pinas, and they yes. really had a hard time. I saw the clip. Yeah, sending it to the US, but she's very happy now. Okay, now she made it. Yeah, she made it. So very excited for Miss USA. So, I am so excited. So if like, ever that she will win, then that's the very first time that there's a Filipina blood that will win Miss Universe. That's not from the Philippines. Yes. Mean, but we can still be really, really proud. I know that a lot of you guys are also rooting for Miss, Miss USA, USA. And I am also rooting for Miss USA. Yeah. I'm not just supporting just one candidate. But I'm gonna be supporting a few other girls and that I would like to be crowned as Miss Universe. Yes. Yeah. And, and I think if Makarating si Miss USA is at top five, oh my god, the communication skills. Yes. I was actually watching the video on Instagram. I think they, she went live with Natalie Glebova. Yeah. And that was around, <laughs> around 5.30. She actually had time. three interviews. Na sunod -sunod that time. She's Natalie amazing. Glebova, then uh, Adam. Adam, then another from a Latino um, guy. She's incredible. She had so so much energy. And she looks like parang Miss Universe na siya noon, no? Yes, parang, she's like <laughs> parang nanalo na, na siya. <laughs> with so, yeah. back to back to back interviews. So, yeah, so we're rooting for Miss USA as well. Uh, as a Filipina. Yeah. That's wonderful. The f next girl that I have on my list on the post arrival favorite is India. Oh, she's not in Our my <laughs> reigning country yeah. in, <laughs> in yeah. this universe. I really like her. She's reminding me of one of my Pagamarine Montana beauty. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I really like her. She's very simple. I 
I don't know her that much. Now, Germany looks like Marin Montaigne as well. Oh, really? Okay, back to India. <laughs> yeah, I, I like India. I was yeah. just looking at her and I think she's very friendly. Mm -hmm. She's been talking to a few other candidates. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, I just like her. I don't have right. India in my top five. Pero, I just no, na notice ko na magar mas gumaganda siya every time. Hmm. Parang tumatagal pa lang. My God, ang ganda pala niya. Lalo na pag, uh, pag maganda yung pagka-makeup din sa kanya. Mm -hmm. And then, pag tinignan mo talaga yung face niya, ang ganda pala ni Miss India. Mm -hmm. So, so who knows? Could be back-to-back -back win. We'll yeah. never know. It can be anyone's game anyway. Yeah. No? So, but she's not a bite of five, but who knows, di ba? Baka pagdating ng final hot picks natin ng mga yes. Japanese si Miss India. Yeah. But yeah, she's very pretty. What's your other favorite? My last favorite. So, I have already... Philippines, same tayo doon. Venezuela, I have Italy, same rin tayo sa Italy. USA, and my last pick is Vietnam. Nyo. I have Chow. Vietnam on Chow. my sixth uh, place. Sixth. Yeah, so <laughs> but... she's in my top five because she's also wearing all red. No, pero iba naman siya kataki kaysa yes. sa last day. It's sweet, but I didn't much like it. It's screaming. Right. Parang ganon. So, okay, okay. okay. so let's just fierce. Mm. Sa kanya naman is parang ano lang, parang sweet lang, parang mm. lovely, but fighter. Parang ganon. Um, I love Vietnam because parang tahimik lang siya, pero kung magpapasabog naman siya is my God, super ganda. And it's, right. She's very natural, no? I she don't know, is. But, but her looks is very natural for me. Parang naralo ko si. Beatrice, mm. ganyan lang. Let's Pero, not forget that Vietnam, you know, being selected yeah. in the semi-finals, so it could be how many years already? Maybe six? Yeah, I want years? to see them sa so, penetrate into top 10 or top 5 yes. or even higher. Yes. Um, my God, this natural beauty parang super ganda niya. I think they're really up to their game now and yeah. I think they're very, very serious when it comes to... But I haven't heard her um, talk about communications. I think she's she's okay. I, I I'm not sure as well. Yeah. I also have Sorry guys, but I have, we haven't really seen her videos. But if you have seen her interviews, you can comment down below. But I think she she trained um, in Philippines, right? Oh, she went okay. to, to Philippines. Correct if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's very beautiful. She's in my top five yeah. post arrival. I think my last favorite on the arrival is Miss Colombia. Mm, Maria Fernanda. Yes. She's so beautiful. She's just Colombia, ready to compete. For me, Miss Colombia is not on my top five list. It's maybe because, parang hindi lang ako nakasunod siguro kay Miss Colombia. Um, I was just looking into other girls, pero I'll try to check on her more. Mm. But I, I saw some of her photos, naman, especially when she was done by Muba mm. and her arrival. She's very pretty. Ano pa ba? Bakit kung pagusto si Miss Colombia? Well, just like Venezuela, I think Miss Colombia is also very prepared for the competition. Yeah, and who knows, de ba? Kung hindi nabigay sa kanila yung back-to-back -back crown, it diba? could be na oh, still in 2015. Then, malay mo this time manalo na sila, de ba? So let's see, let's see. We'll be for the best for Colombia. Yeah. So I'll just summarize my top five post-arrival: Philippines, Venezuela, Italy, USA, and Vietnam. Cool. My top favorites for the arrivals are Philippines, USA, Italy, India, Colombia. Okay, all right. So let's talk about our um, honorable mentions. Ito naman yung mga hindi nakapasok sa top five namin, but it doesn't mean uh, they are not great. They're they are amazing. So that's why I pasok sila sa aming honorable mentions. So ikaw muna, go. Mine, I think I should mention Venezuela, Vietnam mm -hmm. because they were all on your list as well. Yeah. But I also like Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. And I also like Costa Rica. Yeah. And I did like Panama. Mm -hmm. uh, basta, it's just so parang intense yung walk ni Panama. <laughs> just go, my mm -hmm. God. I did like South Africa. I have been waiting for her from the moment that she arrived in New York and I think she's been having a great time in New York to the arrival. I super like her and I'm waiting for Miss South Africa because she's so eloquent and I think she can be in top five again this yeah, year. Could be, could be. Mm. I think those are my favorites, really. All right, so uh, my honorable mention, marami sila. Mm. So sorry, we have a lot more than five. So I love Puerto Rico. Oh yes! Yeah. Oh my gosh! See, si 
ano ba pangalan niya? Ashley Carino. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, she's yes. very pretty. Um, the way she looks at you, parang distinct talaga yung beauty niya, di ba? Parang mm -hmm. ganon. Thailand. Um, I love her with that green outfit, and she was dancing. She diba? was when having she, that Thai move. Yeah. Colombia, Peru. Mm, yes. The banga ni Peru, South Africa. I have India, which is on your list. Guatemala. Oh, of course, Guatemala. Ivana. Our baby mm. girl Ivana. What I like about her costume is, I think. Um, yung parang cape niya is parang may meaning. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, she I won national costume for Miss Grand, right? Right. So who so. knows? She will win again this time. Um, and then last na honorable mention ko is Kira Sao. I'm not sure the one is Kira I think so, yeah. Well, I'm not going to talk about Kira Sao, so I'll check again the the no. But yeah, she's very pretty. So yeah, those are my honorable mentions. I think I I forgot. There's another. Lovely woman from Africa. It must be Nigeria. I think I also. And the first one to arrive, right? Yes. Yeah, she's very pretty. Yeah. So, yeah. So yun yung mga top five namin, and then our honorable mentions. Pero kung hindi naman nasali don, it doesn't mean that there are less of the other girls. Yes, of course. That's just our opinions. Maybe hindi lang kami nakat na chat namin lahat, no? Because ayon, may work din tayo, busy din kami. Pero pero yeah. So if if you have your favorite, if you have your own list, you can comment down below. Yes, guys. That will be so great if you can do that. Just be positive. Wag mag away away. So friendly reminder lang sa ating mama, mama and JKN na yes. it should be one universe. Right. Yeah. All right. I think those are our favorites uh, during the arrivals. <laughs> so I think we will be back after the prelims. Yes, or yeah. it could be that we will be back in a few days, or in a few weeks. Then we will have some random chica chica. Yeah, so we will have some random chica chica. Yeah, so we will have chica chica. Yeah, so we will have some random So, Bonga, Bonga, I think that will be all for today, guys. Once again, please let us know in the comment section and who are you rooting for? Uh, who would you like to be crowned as the 71st Miss Universe? Um, it's all about transformational leaders, so it'll be really interesting to be able to see who will be that new queen in a couple of days. Again, thank you very much for checking this out. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that like button. We'll see you all for the next one. Kapkun Kap, Sawadee Kap, and Mabuhay!